Hey, you all right? There is a possum in the van. Oh, relax. That's probably Mr. Bojangles. What? Yeah, I called him that. Alex, welcome to New Zealand. Is this your first time here? No, I've been to uh, Queenstown before, about six years ago. Um, but New Zealand is the only place that I've been to overseas. Outside Australia? Yeah. Wow. So you're here to talk about home and away. Yep. Uh, so everyone's going to want to know about Matt and Maddie. Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to say anything? So can, can you say, can you say Matt, Matt and Maddie again? Matt and Maddie. Can um, you do a New Zealand accent? Uh, not really. No, only fish and chops and kind of like the few yeah. words. Should I do the rest of the interview like this so you can understand me? Oh yeah, mate. It's really awkward if you want to. <laughs> Is that yeah, better? Sure. Yeah. Tell me about Matt and Maddie. I guess <laughs> we started off a bit rocky, kind of stole her from Oscar. Yeah. I can say that we're finally together. Oh, okay. So people are gonna like that. Yeah. Well, but we kind After of saw of that this. at the end of the season. Yeah. What was yeah. happening? Now it's kind of a, uh, a bit less love triangle. Just it's just a love, a love line. line. Mm. That's the best kind. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? You know, I really wanted to dance with you tonight. Now, you're a very talented actor, and I did hear... No, you are, you honestly are, and I did hear that um, you were actually only on for a small part, and then they kind of made the role bigger because you were so good. Is that true? Yeah, I was on for a... Uh, just as a guestie, which meant I was just for a couple months. And I also uh, gave the guys upstairs a $20 bill. <laughs> Just the slip them a 20. Just across the desk. So that's how you do it. That's how yeah. you get on Home and Away. Yeah, just $20. People seem to be pretty interested in your personal life. I mean, if I search your name, Daily Mail comes up and it's like paparazzi shots of you at the beach. Yeah, I'll be on the beach and then I'll just call them up and say, <laughs> hey, Daily Mail, I just spotted Alec on the beach. You better get down here. He's doing some pretty crazy stuff. And I kind of see them. I'm like, oh, hey, Daily Mail, what's going on? <laughs> and they catch the shots and it looks really candid. Yes. But it's all planned. And if someone came up to you on the street and they said, Alec, I really want to do what you're doing, I want to be you when I grow up, what advice would you give them? Well, first of all, I'd say you want to be yourself when you grow up. You don't want to be anyone else. If you want to do the acting game, then you've got to really find that in yourself and find what makes you different from everyone else and what you have to bring to the table and how you can tell stories in a way that no one else can tell them. I want you to compete against George at the pedometer challenge. So okay. you have to get as many steps as you can in 30 seconds. How many did George get, can you tell me? So George got 900. What? Yes! Okay. It says nine. Do you know what we're gonna say it's here? 900. 900, everybody. Yeah, he's really fit. So your 30 seconds starts now. <laughs> Okay, that's cheating because George was running. Okay, you've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> All that effort. 35 and George got 900. How did he get 900? I actually got nine. It didn't work. It, 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 it. So, okay. I won then. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And you can see Alec on Home and Away TV2 weekdays.